everybody, welcome back to Fossil Fighters, and so you guys might have noticed that the previous video got cut short, as I stated in the descriptor of the video, and the reason for that is, is the computer is running out of space, it was running out of space, I had to clear some things out, hopefully it doesn't happen again, because if it does, I might have, I'm gonna have to do something, um, but you didn't miss much. I collected a couple of more fossils. I cleaned them up. It was mostly just more parts, so not really anything for you guys to see. I went ahead and did the fossil cleaning test for the fossil fighter for the next level up test. I thought it would be appropriate just to get that out of the way. That guy. That way, you guys didn't have to see it because it's basically the same every single time. But now we have to do the fossil battle test. For this fossil battle test, you'll have three battles. Two preliminaries, preliminaries, and a final battle. For the preliminary battles, you'll face off against normal fighters, others trying to level up today. You'll return here to the lobby after each preliminary battle. You'll then face a level master for your final battle. Okay. Level up if you defeat the level master. When you're ready to go, when you're ready, go on through the door to your right to the battle area. And the door is already open because I've already had that speak. I've already had that said to me, but I figured I'd go ahead and let you guys know. All right, so we're going in with currently my team of all wind dinosaurs, all wind vivisaurs. Uh. And hopefully that doesn't bite me in the butt. But if it does, we might have to do some grinding. Greetings! I hope you had had a pleasurable time in Bottom Up Bottoms Up Bay. Lovely place, isn't it? For our battle today, I shall tell tell you I'll be using two of my brightest water vivisaurs. Be prepared. I'm glad I have all wind. If you're ready, we'll begin. Okay, he didn't tell me he had a third one. That was a trick. I'm trying to get you overconfident, but I'm still good. I'm thinking maybe should I put go ahead and put Spinax back, or should I wait? Or should I try with the team that I've been running? So you guys might remember I switched out who was on my team. Oh, I'm fine. Because I was trying to level up Elasmith. Elasmith and, and all that. I'm fine. Let's go. the advantage, I might as well take it. Shan combo. Oh, well, I got to go first. That's a little worrisome. Because... Oh! That's worrisome because that means they have more HP than me. Plus I... I took out his first Vivisaur. This will probably hurt next turn, though. Diving thrust. Ooh. Okay, not too bad. Okay, that was basically nothing. I did some decent damage. I will wait. Again, I currently have the advantage, so I'm not a, I'm not really worried too much. Let's save 
Give it up. Oh! That was my standard attack, and that went very poorly for you. Oh, crap. Ruin beam him, because I have the points. Ah, I probably should have swapped. Well, that was kind of a waste, wasn't it? Oh well. It's the first match, so I'm not incredibly worried. I'll probably be more, more worried in the next ones. I just had at least one more attack in me. Apparently I do. Might as well. And I crit for the final attack. Awesome. time I was listening to a last time I was listening to one of the videos I think the speakers might just might be up just a little bit too loud I'm gonna drop them down to 79 and maybe it'll make a difference we'll see Sorry about that. I just I probably should have done that beforehand. I just I just thought of it. Sorry. There's no shame in losing a well-fought battle to a superior opponent. My hat is off to you. I do, however, look forward to our next encounter when we both may have progressed further. In any case, best of luck to you. Cool. All right. So with that, I'm going to save That way we can come back to this spot later. Okay. When you're ready, go on through the door to your right to the battle area. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yes, begin my level up battle. Nope, just another normal person. Have you decided what Vivasaurs you'll use? I think I'm going to use my two favorite air types. And wait, I'll tell I can't tell you all my secrets. Okay, so I know she's gonna be using air vivasaurs, which means if I lose this, I can come back. And she's got a fire vivasaur. Alright. We'll see how this fight goes, and then depending, we can just swap some stuff out. I get to attack first, though, so that's a plus. Hmm. Maybe I should have gone for the Utah Raptor first. I'm gonna end my turn. Looks like he's decided to build some, some up, too. That takes out that one. <clears throat> what the? Huh. Let's 
Sorry, I was paying I I actually was looking up into what the PAs were saying. MAs! Uh, you, the people that are making the announcements while we're fighting. My strongest attacks right now. Oh, oh, I wish I had just a little bit more FP. Holy crap. Might as well not waste it all. Boy, Shanfang sure does get a lot of crits. And just a good old ramming horn for good measure. Oh boy. It's the poison. Or not. Wrong move, never mind. Let's see how this goes. Sure did a lot of damage. So if I can stick it out. Shan Shan's still in it! Holy crap! Woo, holy crap! Barely hanging on there. my lineup. Upgrade my sonar, collect all four Vivisaur parts, increase my skill arsenal. That's the only way I'm ever going to beat you. First step, save money to upgrade my sonar. Next, why am I boring you with this? I'll see you later. Yeah, this is one of those games where I decided to give you a tutorial by talking to people. Every other... Every other sentence. What a great way to inform the player. I understand companies are gonna do what they're gonna do, but that's just a dumb way to do that. I played a, I played a game on my, I played like a mobile game on iPad that was kind of like that called Valkyrie Gauntlet 2. It was a shameless cash grab of a game, but I enjoyed the crap out of it and beat it, only ever purchasing something once. So, haha, developers of that game. I played the, and I mean it, I played the entire freaking thing. To completion. Congratulations, you made it to the final battle. When you're ready, go through the door to your right to the battle area. Okay, let's see who I'm, let's see who the level up master is. <sighs> yep. So, we didn't cover this last time because that video didn't get uploaded, but, um, he miss he doesn't say certain sayings correctly. Monsieur Chris! Welcome to the finale, you! I'll bet.
that you think you've got yourself an easy victory ahead! Mr. Master of Beard Ribbons! I hate to rain on your marmalade, but Knack will hop and puff and blow your mouse down! We will find out soon enough, Monsieur Chris, if you can jive with level 5! And it is Knack who shall test you! Yup, yup, combat! He's out of his freaking mind! All wind! This could go very poorly for me. We'll find out what happens. Oh, that's horrifying. Oh, that's not even fair! That's not even fair! Ooh! to my party. Leaping gore? That sounds horrifying. What is with all the raptors having poison abilities? Seriously. Let's see what the confusion does to him. Okay, not too bad. Not great, but not too bad. Shot his raptor. Holy crap. Okay. Maybe? Phobia beam. Oh, it sure did a lot of damage. Oh, boy. I can end it! Yes! Oh my god, yes! Oh god! 
Soul Fighter is right. Holy crap. Oh my god. Oh, you go, Shan Shan. You deserve it. Oh my god. <laughs> Goyle too! Goyle deserves it! You deserve this! You deserve this! <laughs> okay. <clears throat> oh, wow. Monsieur Chris, congratulations! You beat me fair and square! Oh, boy. Then again, you did collect three incredibly rare items for me, and you've beat an enraged Wolfbeard! Monsieur, you seem to make a habit uh, out of doing the impossible! When it comes to fossil battles, Monsieur Chris, nobody does it wetter than you! Thank you? Oh my god. I hereby certify you, Monsieur Chris, as a level 5 fighter! Awesome! I won't hesitate to ask you the next time I need something special! Toodaloo! Leave, just leave. Oh my god, leave. Uh, oh, excuse me. Chris, so how'd it go? <laughs> wow, you already leveled up? That's great! I lost on my second preliminary, but I'm gonna try it try again. You shouldn't give up. Oh yeah! I also heard rumored that Captain Wolfbeard was never actually released from Spirit Form! Apparently he hooked up. He's hooked up, hooked on fossil battles, and shows up on the pirate ship every once in a while to battle. Cool. Those idols, though. I'm starting to wonder about those. Maybe we should have Dr. Diggins or my grandfather look at them. Just a thought. Anyway, see you later. Okay, bye! You have to try this fight again, so, I mean, why are you leaving? Yes, I will save my progress! <laughs> Chapter 5! The BB Boss Revealed! Okay, I... Now, again, I never pl I've never played to this point, but I have... The Level 6 Dig Site Mount Lava Flow is now available, but I have seen... I have read parts of what happened. Because, yes, I'm that type of person, and you can just... Yeah, no comment you make is gonna stop me. Today's Vivisaur Tribune, Ghost Can Battle too. It's reported that the ghost of famous pirate Woolbeard does indeed exist deep in Bottoms Up Bay. Woolbeard is said to confront those who enter a sunken ship and challenge them to boss battle. Fossil battles. As a message to our readers, if you see him, ru running will only make him mad. It's best to just battle him. Wow, that sounds like a threat! A level 5 fighter? You are nothing to me. Leave! Now! I think that's probably the dude we fight to get, like, the last level. Good morning, Chris! The Advanced Fighter Seminar is currently being held over in Rivet Ravine! All the fighters who attend find fossils, the likes of which they've never seen before! I recommend it! Alright. So I know where I'm headed now. Right? I'll have to ask you to follow me to the police station. 
Um. What? Sorry to drag you down. Sorry to drag you down here, Chris, my boy, but there's something I need to ask you. You see, Rosie has been kidnapped! And? <laughs> what else is new? Oh, God. <laughs> we got this letter from the kidnappers. Let me read it. Bring the idols to the park area dock. I know you've been spending a lot of time with Rosie. Do you know anything about these idols they mention? Because, er, uh, we don't know anything about them at all. We're at a bit of a loss, lad. Anyway, Chris, thanks for your time. Sorry to bother you about this. You can go home now. I wonder what will happen to Rosie if no one takes those idols to the park area dock. So the game wants me to go immediately to the park area dock. Okay, so apparently the dude I caught, the, caught a little while back, escaped. Don't ask. I don't remember if you guys saw that. That might have been something you guys didn't get to see. How if he just escaped? <sighs> Great! So, I can't go off-island until after I do this. Lovely. That's a real nice way to treat your player game. So, seriously, I can't... Okay, I can. Alright. I need to go to Rivet Ravine. Oh, there's a... Huh. So that's how that works. So, this thing here is something I got. I upgraded my sonar again, because I had the money to do so. Hello again! Dig up anything good lately? Oh, hey! Do you want to attend another seminar? Get more out of your digging? Attend! Great! First, let's see how much you've progressed in your digging. Can you bring me 16 colored fossil rocks? Okay. Yeah, I'll accept your fossil battle. I now get 120 fossil fossil points every turn, so that means I can do a lot more. <laughs> I can pull off a lot more interesting combos. They get to go first, though, because they have fewer points. <sighs> Pardon me, guys. A little, a little tired. I can just Shan Fury this up, like, real quick.
Don't worry, guys. I'll get around to saving Rosie. I'm not gonna leave her. It's just currently... I want to see what this whole seminar thing is about. Raptors generally have a lot less health, so... Yeah. some water vivisaurs at this point. That's for sure. Because if I'm about to go to a fire location, I'm gonna need to be able to, you know... kind of want to get the uh, the 16 fossil rocks I need. Stuff with the cleaning bot. I'll have to check on that in a little. I'll have to check down that in a little while. Or did I? I can't remember if I actually left it with him or not. Good thing they gave me a bunch of water 
Vivasaurus. It. Wouldn't you agree, guys? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, so I need five more. Let's take the cart down to the uh, special place to see if I missed. I came down here uh, in the previous video, which you guys might have seen. I found some stuff. It was, again, mostly just additional parts. No new Vivasaurs or anything. Believe me, if it, if it had been new Vivasaurs, I would have at least attempted to record it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. I got one to grow on. <laughs> All right, let's uh, drop back through this hole and head back to uh, Sam In Sam Inaro. Don't you just love puns? Ha 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 ha. It's not a very good pun. I'm sorry. It's a terrible pun. For one thing, it's it's barely a name. Okay. So what's he gonna do to me? Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Alakazooie! <laughs> you are now rated fossil appraiser triple A grade. You can now dig up dark fossils. What? What? Dark fossils are different from any fossils you've found up till now. For one thing, x-rays can't penetrate dark fossils. You'll only know what's inside by cleaning? Oh, talk about trial and freaking error. Error. Also, dark fossil rocks have an extremely hard surface. Cleaning takes a lot more work. You've got to use your hammer to break up the dark outer shell and then continue on with the drill. What's more, the fossils inside dark fossil rocks aren't typical fossils. They have either rare fossils or surprisingly big jewels inside. Oh, and occasionally they contain more unusual items. Find a dark fossil rock and try cleaning it for yourself. They're hard to find and hard to clean. But the prize you get in the end is always worthwhile. And hey, and hey, we're done. Good luck out there. Uh, now I'm curious. Nope, electro arms. Megalo legs. I might as well try and find something, you know? Rock. Okay. Ah, if 
found a dark fossil rock. Okay. All right. Let's save before we do this. Okay. All right, let's do this. <laughs> okay. All right. Talk to the cleaning bot. Okay, clean by hand. None of these are anything I'm going to clean by hand except for the jewel rock. Except for the one singular jewel rock I have. Might as well. at all. Definitely selling that, and I'll be selling all the other ones I have, all the fossil rocks I have too, because, I mean, they're at a level where the cleaning robot can't clean any better than what I've done, and, well, except for these, the U-Raptor arms, I will leave those with him to see if he can do better, and the U-Raptor legs. Codeless legs, no. They're about at the level that they can be. Okay, here's the new fossil rock. We're gonna save state. Okay, saved. I can't x-ray this one. like perhaps a rare codeless head? Maybe something else? But there's a bonus because it's a rare. Okay. But I did get to see what it's like to do a dark fossil. That's going to be weird. Okay. I'm going to go sell all my junk, see how much it gives me, and then, depending on the amount I have afterwards, I may buy an upgrade. And then, yes, we will go do the, we will go save Rosie. For all of the people out there who actually like Rosie. Personally, I find her really annoying. That's right, I was going to leave stuff to clean with him. I'll go back and do that in a little bit. Oh, 
Awesome! Okay, still don't have enough for another upgrade, so... I only have to check for that, I know. Because if I remember correctly, the next upgrades... What is the next... What is the price of the next upgrade? I know I don't have enough, but... The next sonar upgrade is... 3,500! <laughs> and the next case upgrade is how much? 2,500! I almost likely get the next case upgrade before I get the next sonar upgrade. The next sonar upgrade will let me find the bodies. The body fossil of, uh, of Vivasaurus. So here's something. I... I do like the mechanic in this game. I do like the cleaning mechanics in this game. I just wish it were a little bit easier. I just wish it were a little bit easier to get it done. I mean, they make it a little bit easier in the next game with they give you like a, a time stopper thing. That gives you like a time bonus type thing so you can keep going. Let's see how he does with these three fossils. If nothing else, I'll get donation points from and I can finally see what kind of stuff they had. I can buy with 50 donation points. Because I've still not done that. Okay, now I'm going to the ho go to the hotel. Grab the tacky idols. Okay, we're gonna grab the tacky idols, and we're gonna go save Rosie, because of course we are. Now, if I remember correctly, I have to go to the Lava Flow place. Yeah, I have to go to the Lava Flow place to get a special Vivasaur, and I have to have this Vivasaur. It's a legendary Vivasaur. Save real quick. Let's save real quick. Okay, if this next part leads to a battle, I'm gonna cut it there. Alright, that tells me that right there. So, I'm gonna cut it right here then. Uh, thank you guys, uh, because I want to space this out, and nine times out of ten, I'm gonna get my butt kicked a couple of times, so let's, let's be prepared for that. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, please hit that, uh, please like and hit that subscribe button. If you want to know whenever I post new videos, click the little bell next to the subscribe button, uh, so you will always be notified when a new, uh, video is posted by me. Uh, and with that, I bid you all goodbye!